Okay, this is David here at Citizen Relay, um, speaking to Elise Kelly. Uh, Elise, would you like to tell us a little bit about um, Weaving Musical Threads? Um, Weaving Musical Threads is a project that was held for Music Nation, which was part of the Cultural Olympiad. And there were Music Nation events all over the whole UK on the 3rd and 4th of March 2012. And we held ours for Renfrewshire, so I chaired Renfrewshire Musical Threads Committee. And we created this weekend combining all of the arts in Renfrewshire because what we were doing was celebrating Renfrewshire's people, history and its place in the world. And that's what we were doing. And so was it, this happened all over Renfrewshire, all the towns and villages in Renfrewshire, including Paisley? We tried to involve as many of the towns and villages as we could on the Saturday and on the Sunday we created a hub of the town hall in Paisley and of the abbey. And Therefore, on the Saturday, we were in Johnston, we were in Loch Winnoch, we were in Renfrew, we were in Paisley. We were as far afield as we could around Renfrewshire. And then, as I said, on the Sunday, we were solely in Paisley. So you're, it was an Olympic-funded uh, project. So what have the legacies been, do you think, Elise, of that project? The biggest legacy probably was everybody saying to us, don't stop this collaboration of the arts, because it was all of the arts. It was, art, it was art itself, it was dance, it was music, it was theatre, it was everything, literature, poetry, and the history, the link with the history of the area. And people just said, you know, keep it going, because they were really enjoying being able to, being given a platform. And it was all ages were given a platform. For example, young groups that are playing rock were getting given a platform in the Paisley Arts Centre. And, and they shone, you know, so it was, it was that. That was the biggest leg. So we've also got things like there's going to be an anthology coming out of it um, by the, the Mill Girls, who were local poets who, who talked in the Fred Mill Museum. And there's going to be a, a young folk singer, Anna MacDonald, who's quite well known. She came and sang because she's from Renfrewshire. And she's, we're hoping she'll, we can commission a song that's going to be based on that anthology. And on the day, on the Saturday, for example, everybody was invited to draw, to write or draw or paint on clay. And the lady who was involved with that has created um, clay plaques, and those will go on display in the town, hopefully in a shop centre that we can put them into. And then she'll display them at her studio as well, for outside her studio, and they'll always be there on Wellbeard Street in Paisley. So people were, were desiring that this would keep on going. So what are the, what are the opportunities or the impediments to, to the sustainability of that type of project? Um, the opportunities are always there. Yeah, the impediments are, um, it's all voluntary, it's all voluntary. We made everything free, the whole weekend is free. And therefore you've got all these people working, doing long, long hours, and you, know, you need more people involved. It's, it's getting the man hours and the number of people involved. That's, that's the impediment. The torch really comes through Renfrewshire on the 8th of June this year. Is the Weaving Musical Threads project uh, involved in that at all? Or is it, uh, how have you been liaison with that project? Um, no, we haven't been contacted, no. But um, we do um, hope that the people that we work with in Loch Winnock, for example, we were down in Loch Winnock at the Nature Reserve and there were poets there and the singers there. We hope they've been contacted and they'll be involved. And then it's, I believe, also been Kilmacomb. So we're hoping very much that people in Kilmacomb are being involved in the arts and not, you know, in the arts as well as sport. Yeah. And, do you, and do you have a view about, I guess the Olympics are about sport, culture and education, so how important a project like yours do you see the cultural dimension in terms of the, the, the legacy of the Olympic Games as it comes to the UK? Well I think it's extremely important. I mean I'm obviously biased because <laughs> I love the arts, but I think everybody turns to the arts. I think no matter what in people's lives, they always turn to the arts. And to me it's incredibly important. You know, one of the things I think I really would love to mention, if it's okay, is our our shard they translated into Gaelic for us, especially, and we have got the mod coming to Paisley as well in 2013. So it's it's really special that it's in Gaelic, because obviously that is an indigenous language for Scotland, and so that maybe helps make people feel part of what's happening in London. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Pleasure.